One thing I would never do, I would never wear a black helmet. That's just, to me, that's just asking for trouble. People are not gonna see that black helmet. to the Keep Living channel. I am the KO Rider. So testing this uh, new helmet I got. Um, it's actually nighttime. Yeah, we're testing the uh, anti-fog system. So I had it for about a week. And it's kind of uh, raining a little bit as well. Uh, once again, this is the uh, Scorpion XO T520 and it's pretty much a dual uh, type of helmet if you look at my last video I did a review on it you can check it out um, so far it's doing pretty good this is a, actually a perfect a perfect test run because not only is it kind of drizzling, it's also humid, and it's nighttime as well. So far, I don't have any fog whatsoever, which is pretty much awesome. Now, I will say, when you're wearing this, the shield is very clear, but at the same time, you can still kind of see uh, the anti-fog uh, film on it. Well, it's actually not film, it's kind of like sprayed on. Um, it's there, like you notice it. But you don't notice it to the point where you have bad vision. You actually have really, really good vision. Um, out of a hundred, I would say it's like a like a ninety-eight point nine, which is good. Of course, you want a hundred percent vision. But for the simple fact, this is the elements. And one of the criterias of riding in inclement weather is making sure your visor doesn't fog up in front of you. That's the worst thing. Once your visor fogs up, that's it. Like, it's just hard to concentrate and you don't feel confident on your ride. Like now it's like very misty and I haven't even have to well, I don't even have to wipe my uh, the outside part of my visor. So you know, you take your finger, you wipe the mist off the outside part of your visor. Haven't even had to do that yet. So, and I've been riding for literally about a good 15 minutes so far. So that's pretty good. I'm doing it now just to see if there's a difference. And yeah, there's a there's a little bit of a difference, but it's the same as you know, pretty much. You know when when the visor is actually um, um, closed and the inside, the anti-fog system is working, and I'm not really getting any type of uh, mist on the outside. So that's pretty awesome. Regardless, you know, if I sit in traffic, cause I still like to raise my visor just a bit because. In my experience, no anti-fog system is 100% all the time. Like you will get some little foggy spots, like 
but it's funny it's never really like in front of your eyes it's always around different parts you know the vibes like all to the sides above or down low when you're breathing so if I have to stop I do lift the vibes a little bit but while you're going you know I drop it down because when you're stationary there's no wind getting to your face so naturally things will start to fog because you're stationary so um yeah now I'm just cruising feels good looks good so yeah I'm telling you literally you know at nighttime this is this is a great helmet I, I love the helmet it's very comfortable sits on my head really good everything seems to be working once again I'm just gonna lift the lift the visor up I recommend you know everybody do that so it kind of helps you know the anti-fog system just last a little bit longer because it's not working so let your visor up let some of that cool air rush in so <clears throat> helps keep your uh, your visor you know kind of kind of clear um yeah this is the scorpion xo t520 and you know it's nighttime actually crack of dawn and this helmet is working pretty damn good with the elements so I'm gonna wipe my visor on the outside. Let's get some of the mist off. Yeah, you know, so driving the traffic like this, you know, I can see everything, you know, extremely well. Now, on my other helmets, I do have a uh, anti fog insert. Most likely, I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this because. The anti-fog system may not last as long so this is about a week in and naturally you're gonna to have to clean your visor because you're gonna to have to get all the muck the dirt bug splatter all that stuff you know off your visor so naturally you're gonna be cleaning off you know the anti-fog spray that's actually you know on there so so most likely I'm gonna, you know, definitely, you know, definitely get an insert. Which is, I recommend everyone gets, you know, either a pen lock system um, or an anti-fog uh, insert for your helmet. So that's normally what I ride with and pretty much I never really have any issues uh, with those inserts. Um, naturally, you gotta choose, cho you know, choose the right one. And they work pretty good. You know, like I said, they're not a hundred percent, you know, bulletproof. Uh, meaning that you're gonna get some slight little fog, like you know, around the corners. You know, sometimes maybe at the top, a little bit down at the bottom where it's not covering, um, and maybe just a little bit where it's where it's covering, but it's never really directly in front of your eyes. You know, which is a good thing. So. On my other helmet, I have an insert, and it's been in here for eight months, and I haven't had to change it out yet. So that's great. All right, helmet down. And I do leave it cracked just a little bit at the bottom. Also, you know, for some of that air to get into as well, so that also helps. But, doesn't really help with moto vlogging because <laughs> you can hear all the wind but this is just a test run you know of, of the helmet and you can't see it um, I wish I had a um, another camera mounted to my handlebars or something like that but there's actually nowhere to actually mount a camera <laughs> on the front of this bike it doesn't have handlebars like a lot of a lot of other bikes
But yeah, this is the um, Scorpion T520, XO T520. And I'm loving it, you know. 